get off the couch. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are taking the house tour. Welcome to our living room. That's a big goal, you guys. I'm gonna say it here now. I thought it did a pretty good job covering up that little wall heater. I really envision this sort of French modern. This is kind of a cool shot. It just makes this whole space feel so good. We have been in this house now for, drum roll please, over a year. I figure it's a good time to give you like a quick, you know, this is the status, this is where we're at right now, moving into the next year of renovations, projects big and small, DIY projects. Kelly, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this. We're gonna start here with our little mini entryway. It's technically part of our living room, but I found a little spot here near the door where we could drop keys, phones, you know, whatever, and hide all like the dog leashes and stuff like that. I found this mirror. I love the beautiful wood and antique table from a local antique shop. This simple white lamp is from Target. A few collected books and we make our own candles. Welcome to our living room. I have been hard at work in this room, mostly with furniture, decor, core art and I feel like I'm making a lot of progress but all I see when I stand in this room is all the mill work, trim work, baseboards, all the stuff that I want to add into this space. So before we get into that, sofa, leather, love the mid-century vibes. It's from Article. I sourced this round marble table originally for the den space in our rental house. I'll link that makeover for you down below. I love the marble. I'm wishing it had a different base to it. So I don't know if that's like a DIY project or maybe just searching for something to replace it. I would love to find something vintage. This armchair is Studio McGee collaboration with Target. The lamp also is from Studio McGee Target. The throw blanket. I know it's summer, but I cannot put this like faux fur blanket away. That one's from Pottery Barn. And then we also have this Sarah Brooke art piece sourced from Home Goods. I think I've evolved a little bit from it, to be honest. I hate like changing another artist's artwork, but I'm considering just like reusing the canvas. So maybe a video to come on that one. If you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember this stunning piece of artwork. I found it at an antique shop when we were down shopping around Portland, Oregon. I love the warm palette. I love the subject matter, a street in France, and it reminds me of a street that we actually walked down when we went there. The fiddly fig we get lots of questions about. It was shorter than me when we first bought it. Now that we've got shears in this room, this big, beautiful window lets in so much more light. It's just, oh, it's, it's everything. I love it. I get a fair amount of questions about these black armchairs. They are pretty great looking. They were originally from Ikea. I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I'll link them and everything else that I can in the description box down below for you. The throw pillows are so beautiful. I love the texture. They're from Pottery Barn. Sneaking in the back here. <laughs> I've got a Disney blanket. One thing you might not know about me is I'm a little bit of a Disney adult. I'm actually going to Disneyland to celebrate my 40th birthday in like less than a week, you guys. I am so excited. Five days, five days. What I like about this though is it's very subtly Disney, right? It's not screaming Disney. It's just, it's subtle and it's cozy and it's my color story, so it works. This is kind of a cool shot. I, I don't know, I kind of like this view. Maybe I should use it for an upcoming video. Anyways, the lamp is from Shocker, Studio McGee at Target. I didn't realize all three lamps in this room are from the same collection at Target. I'm kind of breaking my own design rules here. I did, to be fair, this the previous lamps in here were all vintage and I just switched them out for like a cleaner look, but now I'm rethinking things. This is another fun little personal item. We recently just got married on Maui. My in-laws, they got us these super cute sandstone coasters. Happily Maui'd come on, so cute. One thing that kind of drives me crazy sometimes about interior design channels is no one seems to have any electronics. <laughs> Travis and I definitely watch our televisions. Uh, we have three in this house. If you have questions about designing around massive television and your partner's love of electronics, that might be a good future video topic. Let me know. Right now, I just have it on this IKEA media center. I'm thinking about doing built-ins on this entire wall, camouflaging the television a little bit, a bunch of little cubes where we can do styling and organizing. If you've been following for a while, you know I don't love this fireplace facade. The previous owner actually t used floor tile over the top of the original brick, <laughs> which 
a little bit breaks my heart. Now I know that's not, you know, everyone's feeling on this, but I have learned how to style this face in a way that makes me happy. And this horse is so cute. It was an antique store find, although I don't think it's an actual antique. into the dining room we've got this beautiful rug this one is from the Laloy collaboration with Amber Lewis I love the sort of olive colorway the darker tones sorry this looks a little bit like a yard sale I have been collecting brass frames I love this table I admired it for many years in my mother's home and she was gracious enough to give it to us I think we made it work in here although my instinct is it doesn't fit perfectly in this space big goal is to put in a banquette on that corner, round table, or maybe an oval table or a table with an extension. This dining room light fixture took me quite a while to make a decision on and still I look for ones, I don't know, I just have like a, a penchant for dining room light fixtures apparently, but this one obviously very modern. It's from Crate and Barrel. And these chairs are from Restoration Hardware. They're a little, traditional for my taste, but they're very simple and beautiful and classic. And this lovely little piece of furniture is a little wine rack. I'm gonna be honest, definitely a little farmhouse for my taste. I'm not always a lover of, you know, displaying the, you know, unmentionables. Wait, that doesn't make sense. This was a piece that was given to my now husband by his parents and he loves this piece. I have considered some DIYs. He's kind of up to letting me kind of maybe restyle it a bit. We love the wooden top. I would love to figure out a way to kind of cover up the booze bottles, but I just don't know if I can figure it out. Who knows? I'm up for a challenge and I love a good DIY project. So you never know. Maybe I'll haul this one into the garage and work on it sometime. And this beyond stunning oil painting by Charlie Palmer, I've mentioned it before in other videos, is one of my prized possessions. I would grab this in a fire. I absolutely love it. I would love to maybe reframe it though. I've been talking about that with my mom for many years. She has a similar painting. Yeah, I don't know. I might just go for it. <laughs> What do you think? What frame would work better? Black or something more ornate? Welcome to our cute and sassy kitchen. <laughs> Just off the dining room, passing through into the den space that way. We have our small little 1952 ranch kitchen. It's not tiny, tiny, but it's definitely, my mom likes to call it a one butt kitchen. I would say max two butts. Reworking this whole layout is gonna be a huge, huge project. Definitely a couple years down the road. It's gonna take a lot of planning, saving, and I'm really interested in DIYing a lot of it actually, as much as I can. I'm really getting excited and revved up about maybe building our base cabinets. I really want custom cabinetry and I've been so inspired by McKenna's videos lately and she shows the exact process that she uses to do it and I feel like that's something we can absolutely do. So that's a big goal, you guys. I'm gonna say it here now. I wanna rip out all these cabinets. I want to let go of this quartz countertop. It's got that like glittery flucking in it, not my favorite. It's definitely been great since you know we had to move in and just kind of live with it for a while while we <laughs> work on funding this remodel. I would love to reconfigure the kitchen altogether. I don't love the gray lowers and white uppers. I think three years ago me really loved that and I think we've moved on. I love natural wood more than anything. And since we have a small kitchen and a small home and you pass through this space, a lot of people hang out in this space, having as much styling in here that makes it feel like just a part of the home rather than just this kitchen plopped in the middle of the house makes the most sense. We've really managed to kind of warm it up and cozy it up. The blue undertone gray cabinets really pulled this room in a direction that wasn't really me. Layering in this video vintage Turkish rug in a warm brown tan color story immediately made the whole room feel warmer. Of course, a few plants and then wooden accessories. This wooden tray behind just breaks things up, makes it not feel so white, so sterile in here. We've got this weird little half wall between the dining to separate from the kitchen. The refrigerator is here and then there's this little 10 inch countertop right here. It's kind of useless to dress this up slash camouflage it a little bit. I stuck a little command hook and hung this antique painting. This actually was painted by a relative of mine. And then this beautiful jade plant that I've had forever. And I just recently repotted it. Looking this way through the kitchen, you can see it leads into our den space. And before we go there, there's a laundry closet on the right, a pantry closet on the left, and an adorable dog sleeping in the middle. 
Unfortunately, one of the first things you see is our closetless doors in here, which have been driving us crazy. We had a flood on day two moving into this house and had to replace the floors, ended up ripping out all the closet doors. They just have yet to be replaced. So that's definitely high on our list. On this side, we've got our laundry closet, also doorless at the moment. This closet wasn't built to the depth of a washer and dryer unit of 2022, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to do some reconfiguring, building out or scaling back. I have a lot of ideas for this space. I'm gonna rip out all this cabinetry, all this sort of wire shelving, just kind of making it work for now. Yeah, I'm excited to figure this one out. When you turn that corner into the kitchen, you have the sense that the home ends at that point, but it continues into this space. I believe it was a converted garage, so it's a little bit of an awkward room space-wise. We've really done a lot to make it cozy in here, and I feel like this is definitely a win for us. Putting curtains up, camouflaging these sort of weird, tiny, textured windows, and it just makes this room feel kind of dreamy, especially when you walk right by it. Some neutral throw pillows, a Pendleton blanket. I have found this textured paper art at Home Goods. Oh, I love how it pulls the whole room together, and how the dark wooden frame mirrors the dark wood on this entertainment piece by Pottery Barn. It was a bit of a task shoehorning this area rug in here. I will link that video down below. This round wooden table was sourced through OfferUp, but originally came from West Elm. I love these wishbone chairs, also found brand new from a stager who was selling them. This chair is from the Studio McGee collaboration with Target. I recently moved this Monstera into this corner. I thought it did a pretty good job covering up that little wall heater that is kind of an eyesore. And I absolutely adore that plant stand that I found down in Portland. It is one of my favorite favorite antique finds. I have so many big ideas for this room. I would love to take out those three tiny textured windows and put in a big picture window there, replace the sliders. They're just a little bit old and hard to open and close. We've already done the baseboards in here. We redid the floors. I'm just interested in adding some more molding and millwork and character into this room. I've painted this hallway navy blue to kind of call your attention to this side of the house. When you're sitting in the living room or even when you walk through the front door, it has you kind of wondering what's back in there. And I love that about it. I have considered changing the color, but this is the next big renovation space in this home. I cannot wait after I wrap this video, I'm getting right into the, all the hallway projects. I figure it's a good small space to test some things out like millwork and different things that I wanna do, retexturing walls, all this kind of crazy ideas that I have in a small space, learn some things and then spread that joy around the rest of the house. I also wanna make this into a little bit of a mini art gallery. I also really would love to replace all the interior doors in the home. We have primary bedroom, guest bedroom, bathroom, linen closet, office space, five doors that would make a huge impact. Here's another view of the hallway, a little dark. It connects all of these rooms together and let's go right in here, the guest room. I'm actually really happy with what we've been able to accomplish in the guest room this year. It hasn't been too, too much, but it feels nice and cozy, comfortable and warm in here, which is all I ever really wanted for this space. I painted the walls Benjamin Moore Louisburg green. It's definitely more of a grassy leaning tone than I was originally thinking I wanted. And I'm very tempted to repaint this room. I have a feeling that after I finish the hallway, I might be moving into our primary bedroom next for renovations and then into this room. There's so much I want to do in here. There's a large closet which is Travis's. He built an insert, which he's still in the process of that project. I'll share all the details once he finishes. We have mirrored closet doors, which just don't even get me started. So the closet is so large and there's no middle panel to break up the door areas, but it's one large opening. And the only possible option I can find online for prefab doors are mirrored doors, which explains why there's mirrored doors in here. I also want to retexture the walls in here. This room is particularly bad with weird texturing, DIYing from previous owners, baseboards, millwork. We actually have a guest sleeping over in this guest room tonight, a friend of ours, but I told him, you can't come over until I'm done filming this house tour. We've got to update the people. Next up is the primary bedroom. <laughs> Thank you.
it's a decent size, very neutral. I'm so happy that I painted all the walls and all the millwork. Now I'm excited to add all the baseboards, new closet doors very soon, and paint everything the same exact color. I love it, even the ceiling. Obviously I still need a ceiling light. We're working on it. I just haven't found one that I like enough to pull the trigger yet have had this French country dresser for so, so long. It's actually from my childhood. It will probably be my dresser as long as I live, probably. It's one of those forever pieces. I'm very proud that I was able to carve out a little vanity space for myself, repurposing this little mid-century modern West Elm mini desk from my old apartment days. I love corralling all my little small things, perfume bottles and my little brush cup and everything, my little jade roller on top of this marble tray. I always think things on trays look more polished, more put together and this little Amazon mirror lights up which is cool and it does different lighting situations. This bed is my secret heaven place. I absolutely love it in here. It is so comfy, so cozy. I invested in some high quality bedding with Crate and Barrel around the holidays last year and it has been the best thing ever. These throw pillows came from Home Goods. This one from West Elm, a handmade collection from Africa that I still have three pieces from and I love. I'll talk more about these absolutely stunning hand dyed silk pillowcases in an upcoming video so hit the notification bell and the shams are also from Crate and Barrel. I found these beautiful Roman shades for this room and the guest room on select blinds. I searched and searched and searched for high quality beautiful functioning but not crazy expensive and this was the best possible option. They had a ton of fabric options and I really really love how they finished the space. Having a small window above a bed can be really beautiful. I actually really love the light that pours into this room from that side. However, it can also be tricky. I don't always love the look of drapes hanging behind a bed, but I think this hit a happy medium. I love the texture and it fits in well with the wall color. I'm really happy with where this room is at, but there are some definite things that I'm excited to accomplish. Number one, closet doors. I've actually already purchased them. We're picking them up in a few days. The next one is molding. That's the biggest. This room has so much potential, you guys. It's a small space, but I really envision this sort of French modern lovely, cozy, warm, comforting, woo, even beautifuler, beautifuler, even more beautiful than it is right now. <laughs> Welcome to the bathroom, the only one in the house. We're super happy that we found a three bedroom home for the price point in the neighborhood that we wanted so we can deal with the one bathroom thing. It's a little like the kitchen in that it's a 1952 house. It's a little small for what we'd like. It's really gonna be about creative design work, space planning to make this space feel as large as possible. The first thing I did was paint the room white. When we moved in, it was an electric blue color. The previous owners left their matching shower curtain and accessories behind. We promptly let those go. Put up a wood framed mirror this vanity has got to go. It's an Ikea piece that's way too small. And this piece was just like added for extra storage. It's not even attached. I also love hanging plants in the bathroom, especially ones like this pothos that don't need a lot of sunlight and love the humidity. The light is from Amazon fixtures and poles also from Amazon and another Roman shade because clearly I'm obsessed with them. I had to put them in pretty much all the rooms in our house. Since we're in such a small space, every little square foot, square inch matters. I really focused on this view. If I'm standing in front of the sink and doing my hair or whatever, brushing my teeth, I wanted this view to make the room feel larger. When I put that rubber plant at the very top, it makes the whole room feel taller. It just makes this whole space feel so good. I'm obsessed with these little peekaboo views like in doorways. In the future, I'm thinking glass doors, some really interesting tile. I can't wait to dive deep into the DIY in the bathroom and learn how to lay different types of tile. It's a little funny that we're ending this tour in the very first space that I designed when we moved in, but onto my little studio office space. Come on in. 
I love this space. I really like to consider it my little design playground, although there's still a lot more that I want to get done in here. I love coming and working in this room. This is my dedicated office for Lindsay Living Studios, creating the YouTube videos, Instagram content, and website that I'm working up, and all the goals are being created in here. So it really had to be a calm, soothing space, a little bit of a moody vibe that I love. Our best accomplishments in this room were definitely the light fixture, which was a pain to put up, but I'm so, so happy with it. I love the ceiling medallion. We ended up finding it on Amazon. Light fixture was from West Elm. And our other biggest accomplishment in here personally for me was shelving out the closet. So much awesome storage space. My only wish is maybe to add a couple more shelves. It's crazy when I compare the before and afters, how much we've actually accomplished looking through each room. I have so many big goals, so much exciting stuff planned. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more interior design videos every week. Make sure to hit that notification bell too, because soon we will start renovating that hallway. I know it sounds small, but I have a lot of big plans for it. Don't go yet. Check out this video next. I'll see you over there. Until next time, happy decorating. Bye everybody.